In the first quarter of 2023 alone, China initiated over 10,000 construction projects, totaling over 900 billion USD. These mega projects, which range from towering skyscrapers to huge infrastructures, are not only changing China's scenery, but also improving its economy and creating countless job opportunities. Join us today as we explore some of the billion dollar projects that demonstrate China's economic might and ambition. Bahan Hydro Power Plant. First up is the Bahan Hydro Power Plant. The plant, also called the Baihutan Hydro Power Project, is one of the biggest and most mightiest renewable energy projects in the world and is situated in southwest China on the Jinsha River, a tributary of the Yangtze. The project, which has 16 generators with a whopping 1 million kilowatt capacity each, is a ray of hope for a better future and shows China's continued commitment to renewable energy. The Bahan hydropower plant is impressive in its massive size, but its real significance is related to its possible effects on the environment. The plant is expected to considerably contribute to China's ambitious net zero carbon ambitions when it is fully operational, with an expected annual reduction in carbon emissions of an astounding 51.6 million tons. This accomplishment fits into the larger framework of the world's largest clean energy corridor, where the Bahan project is situated alongside other massive hydroelectric projects on the same river system, including the Three Gorges Dam, Wudongde Dam, Xi Luodu Dam, and Xiangjiba Dam. Collectively, they contribute a comprehensive endeavor to generate and transfer sustainable energy from the resource-rich western area to the eastern metropolis. The Bahan Hydro Power Plants Dam is designed with an 825 meter impoundment level and a 20.627 billion cubic meter reservoir. Its main features, which highlight its varied role in water resource management, include a regulation storage capacity of 10.43 billion cubic meters and a flood control storage capacity of 7.5 billion cubic meters. The dam's architecture, which includes three spillway tunnels and six floodgate structures, allows for efficient water flow regulation, which is essential for reducing the effects of floods and droughts. In addition to producing electricity, hydropower facilities such as Bahan are important for managing water resources because of their high energy conversion efficiency, up to 90%, which outperforms that of conventional fossil fuel plants. But it doesn't stop there. In addition to producing electricity, it also controls flooding, enhances navigation, and prevents sand. This one is just one of the mega projects, the Taihu Tunnel. The next one is the Taihu Tunnel. The Taihu Tunnel, stretching a remarkable 10.79 kilometers under Lake Taihu in China's Jiangsu province, is the country's longest underwater tunnel. This impressive marvel of engineering took four years to complete and cost around 5 billion yuan, which is around $775.7 million. The tunnel is part of the 27-mile Changzhou-Wuxi Highway, which became accessible to the public in December 2021. It provides an alternative expressway for travelers journeying between Shanghai and Nanjing, Jiangsu's capital. It is 43.2 meters wide and consists of two bores, each measuring 17.45 meters wide. Even more interesting, over 2 million cubic meters of concrete were used to construct this two-way tunnel, which has six lanes. To reduce driver fatigue, the tunnel ceiling has been illuminated with colorful LED lights. One of the biggest engineering challenges has been seepage-proofing the tunnel, which lies as deep as 20 meters beneath the lake bed. This was successfully overcome by the project team, showcasing their technical expertise and commitment to excellence. The Taihu Tunnel is more than just a transportation route. It connects various towns and areas in the Yangtze River Delta region. It cuts travel time between Mashan and Nanchuan, lakefront subdistricts of Wuxi in southern Jiangsu province, by half. This makes travel from Wuxi's urban center to Yixing more convenient. The tunnel is also expected to boost the regional economy by bringing cities like Shanghai, Nanjing, Suzhou, and Wuxi closer together. It will also alleviate traffic pressure on the cities next to Lake Taihu, while promoting the economic development of the cities in the area. And like you expected, there is more. Opera Houses The Guangzhou Opera House, designed by the renowned architect Zaha Hadid, is another stunning example of modern architecture. Resembling two pebbles washed ashore by the Pearl River, this opera house is proof of the power of design and engineering. The project, which cost approximately 1.38 billion yuan, or around $202 million, took five years to complete. 
The Opera House has a seating capacity of 1,804 and is the third largest performing center in China. Another interesting opera house in China is the Beijing Opera House. Beijing Opera, also known as Peking Opera, is one of the most famous types of opera in China. It originated in the late 18th century and represents traditional Chinese culture. The Beijing Opera House is home to hundreds of different types of operas, each with its unique style and tradition. In Beijing Opera, makeup plays a crucial role in character identification. The color, type, and shape of the makeup can indicate a character's identity. For instance, red usually represents loyalty and bravery, while white and yellow often associated with dangerous and cunning characters. Viaduct. Let's now delve into the world of viaducts in China, where engineering marvels stretch across vast landscapes, connecting cities and transforming the country's infrastructure. Tianjin Grand Bridge is one of China's most stunning viaducts. This massive bridge, part of the Beijing-Shanghai High-Speed Railway, spans 70 miles across Tianjin. It's one of the world's longest bridges, demonstrating China's ambitious high-speed rail program. The Tianjin Grand Bridge was a complicated project. Much of the viaduct passes through the densely populated urban area around the metropolis. The notion of carrying the high-speed train along an elevated viaduct was a clever solution. Every kilometer of railway built on the ground would have needed 70 acres of earthworks, wreaking havoc on the urban environment. So how much did it cost to build this bridge? Viaducts in China have been estimated to cost between 9 and 12 million USD for a double-track line. Despite the cost, building was completed in record time. The project began in 2006 and was finished in 2010, with an inauguration date of June 30, 2011. China constructed the world's greatest high-speed rail network in less than a decade, and building costs for high-speed lines are now up to a third lower in other countries. China now has 18,641 miles of high-speed rail lines, with plans to expand to 23,612 kilometers by 2025. China has 18,641 miles of high-speed lines and aims to reach 23,612 miles by 2025. Quite impressive, but not as the next one. The Construction The Three Gorges Hydroelectric Power Station in Hubei Province, China, is another marvel of modern engineering and proof of the power of human intelligence. This hydroelectric gravity dam spans the Yangtze River near San Guoping in Yiling District. It's not just a power station, but a multifunctional water control system consisting of a dam measuring 2,309 meters long and 185 meters high, five tier ship locks on the north and south sides, and 34 turbo generators with a total power generating capacity of 22.5 million kilowatts. The construction of the Three Gorges Dam was another complex task that began on December 14, 1994. The project was developed in four phases, following the preparatory phase. The first phase, completed in 1997, involved earthworks for the development of the basic structure for the power facility, as well as the diversion of the Yangtze River. The dam's height was increased to 87 meters, and a 135-meter-high permanent ship lock was built on the southern bank during the second phase. During the third phase, the dam was raised to its maximum height of 185 meters and 12 additional Francis turbine generator units of 700 megawatt capacity each were equipped on the northern bank of the river, increasing the total installed capacity of the plant to 18,200 megawatts by October 2008. The final development phase of the project involved the installation of six 700 megawatt Francis turbine units in the underground powerhouse of the plant in 2011 and 2012 which, along with two 50-megawatt plant power generators, increased the total installed capacity further to 22.5 gigawatts. The Three Gorges Dam is the world's largest capacity hydroelectric power station. This hydroelectric facility generated its first power in July 2003 and achieved its full operating capacity after the last of its 32 turbine generators was commissioned in July 2012. The estimated investment for this giant hydropower project was approximately $29 billion, but it still isn't the best on our list. Shanghai Tower The Shanghai Tower, the world's second highest building, stands as another testimony to human creativity and architectural brilliance. This 2,073-foot skyscraper stands in the center of Shanghai's Lu Jiazui district. Designed by the international design from Gensler, the Shanghai Tower is a symbol of China's rapid urban development. 
Its unique twisted design reduces wind loads on the building by 24%, allowing the construction team to use 25% less structural steel than a non-green design of an equal height. The tower is divided into nine separate zones, each containing a separate atrium featuring gardens, cafes, and retail space. From the outside, these zones are impossible to see, as the whole structure is encased in a transparent glass facade. The Shanghai Tower boasts the world's highest observation deck within a building or structure at 562 meters. It also had the world's second fastest elevators at a top speed of 46 miles per hour until 2017. The tower is owned by Yeti Construction and Development, a coalition of state-owned development companies, and the total cost of the project came in an estimated $2.4 billion. Giant Mountains In the heart of China, another monumental transformation is underway. A landscape once dominated by towering mountains is being reshaped, literally, by the hands of human creativity. Chinese builders, armed with determination and vision, have embarked on an epic challenge to level mountains and create vast areas for human settlement. Faced with a shortage of livable space, local authorities have launched a groundbreaking project. Using soil and rocks from the mountains, they are filling valleys and expanding cities with hundreds of square kilometers of flat terrain. But the magic doesn't end there. The Lunu area is gearing up for an even more jaw-dropping feat. They're about to kickstart a massive mining project that involves flattening another 700 hills. This could be the largest mountain-moving extravaganza ever seen, with a mind-blowing investment of $2.5 billion. The goal? To create space for a brand new metropolis, a city born from the remnants of mountains promising a future of growth and prosperity. The hope is that this new city could boost the region's GDP by a staggering $27 billion by 2030. What do you think of these projects, and which one interests you the most? Share your thoughts in the comments section below, and don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for more amazing content. See you next time!